Hi there, welcome to my views and news. It seems that the Ethiopian government of Prime Minister Abi and Ethiopian military are considering making a big decision. Some sources say they have already made these decisions. Others say it is in the pipeline, it is under consideration. If this decision is implemented, what will be its consequences? Which decision? Uh, we'll have a look at that in this video. Secondly, a new story from the Somali region of Ethiopia. A few days ago, Ogaden National Liberation Front, ONLF, which is now a political party, said that the Prosperity Party government in the Somali region of Ethiopia was considering the relocation of the capital from Jegjega to Gode. People did not believe what they said, but it seems that uh, the government is testing the water. It is planning to shift the capital to Gode. Why? Let's start uh, with the first news story. It is about a big decision under consideration by the Ethiopian government. Ethiopian military. Ethiopian military is one of the most powerful institutions in Ethiopia now. Since the country is facing internal and external conflicts, that is why military in coming years too will be a key player in Ethiopia. Military spending increasing on yearly basis. Military getting more weapons, modern drones, modern precise uh, weapons are being bought by the military. Ethiopian government relying on military. Had there been no military by now, the region, Amhara region, uh, would have been under FANO control. It is ENDF which supported, which protected the Amhara regional government. So military is crucial for the protection of the federal government and regional governments in Ethiopia. Militaries always support mandatory military service for citizens. Most militaries uh, in the world which go through wars, which see looming wars, they propose to political governments to pass orders about mandatory military service. Eritrea, we know, has this system of uh, mandatory military service. Youths have to serve in military. Several other countries too, they have mandatory military service, national service as well. Ethiopian government is considering the introduction of mandatory military service for youth. Some say decision has already been made, but it won't be announced because if it is announced, it could face a public backlash. When Mandatory military service introduced, uh, it is introduced in different forms. For example, in Eritrea, it is linked to education. If students don't go to Sawa, they cannot appear in secondary uh, school exam. They cannot get uh, a degree. They cannot go to employment, good jobs. I just returned from Azerbaijan. I stayed there for two weeks. Azerbaijan, Armenia fought for 44 days in 2020. Before I covered Ethiopian Tegaray war, I covered that war too. I made 200 videos, I remember, on that war. And though war ended after Russia mediated the ceasefire agreement, tensions are still ongoing between the two countries. Azerbaijan has also introduced uh, mandatory military service. I talked to some youths there. They say that uh, after 18, they have to serve in military. If they don't, they don't get high-paid jobs. They only get jobs uh, 
uh, their monthly salary would be less than three hundred dollars. If they want to get high paid jobs, they'll have to be in military for two years, I think. Some countries uh, introduce military service in the form of uh, preference to those who have military training in seeking jobs, in getting jobs. So, in different forms, this military service is introduced. In which form will Ethiopia introduce it? Military service or military service and national service both? RRT has both. Military service, national service both. We'll have to wait. Some sources say that already conscription is underway in Ethiopia. Like it has been ongoing in RRT for years. The youths are being forced to join the military. Families uh, are being forced in Amhara, in some parts of Oromia too. This practice is ongoing. It's not very widespread because if it becomes widespread, it could uh, be in the news. Numerous organizations then could take up this issue. That is why government is careful. Uh, I think the way conflicts are continuing in Ethiopia, Either the government will have to make military service very attractive for youth so that they don't have any shortage of manpower or the government will have to introduce military service which is mandatory for youth. Otherwise, how can Ethiopia get continued supply of youth? Uh, tens of thousands of youth on a yearly basis. It's very unfortunate, by the way, that the sector which is creating the most jobs in Ethiopia now is security sector. Youths can join federal police, they can join regional police, they can join ENDF, they can join FANO, they can join OLA, they can join strike force, they can join militias. They can easily get uh, a job. Uh, in security sector. Compared with other sectors, what about industries? How many jobs are being created by industries, by business? What about Amhara region? How many new jobs have been introduced by the government in Amhara? Pano is recruiting. Obviously, the recruits are being paid. They are fed. They are given money for their families too. It's very unfortunate, by the way. Secondly, viewers, uh, is the Ethiopian government considering shifting of Somali regional capital to Gode from Jigjaga? Jigjaga is the capital of the region. ONLF a few days ago said that region has uh, the region had uh, come under sort of martial law, and there was heavy mobilization and weaponization of the region and uh, the government was considering shifting capital from Jigjaga to Gode. In Gode, Ethiopian National Defense Force has established a strong military base. All these military preparations are being made to counter growing Egyptian influence across the border in Somalia. Ethiopian troops from Somalia set to leave in coming months. Egyptian troops expected to arrive. Ethiopia wants to beef up its uh, deployment on Ethiopia-Somalia border. Uh, Ahmad Shahadu is a member of parliament, uh, regional parliament in the Somali region of Ethiopia. In a talk 48 hours ago, Ahmad Shahadu proposed that capital of the Somali region should be shifted from Jigjaga to Gode. It means what ONLF said was true that government is considering the shifting of the regional capital. Ahmed Shahado's statement is like testing the waters. Will people agree to this change or not? ONLF is opposing. Some other groups in Somali region could also oppose. We'll have to wait. The region is definitely under the control of the military. Military is in charge here because military wants to 
ensure that uh, Egyptian troops don't get close to Ethiopian border. That is why military is sending more reinforcements, uh, more units to Somalia. The Ethiopian troops are deployed. Military is trying to consolidate its control of key facilities in Somalia on Somalia Ethiopia border. Thank you for watching.